Hello, good evening, students. Can you hear me? Yes, so where were we in the last class? I think uh, we were doing pH calculation, right? Yeah. Common ion effect we discussed. Mixture of acid and base, have we discussed that? Mixture of strong acid and strong base? Wait for a couple of minutes more. They haven't joined it. Let me drop a message. Okay, so last class we had discussed, uh, the last thing we we're discussing was the pH of calculation, like calculation of pH, okay? And I've given you one question in the last, that is the calculation of pH or H plus concentration of 2.1. What is the answer for that? All of you have done? Like it was this, if pH is equals to, 2.1 we have, what is the H plus concentration here? No, 80 is not correct. The correct answer is 79, 80 minus one. What volume is added? If you look at the question, Anusha, what volume is added? Final volume is 80, but the answer would be V2 minus V1. Okay. Yeah. So you see, if the uh, question is given like this, suppose pH is given, and you need to find out H plus concentration. So this you can find out without any anti-log value. Okay. 
how you see just need to know three values of log like we know log 2 is equals to 0.301 log 2 is 0.301 log 3 is 0.477 log 5 is 0.6989 log 7 is 0.845 approximation we take here and sometimes log 3 is also written as 0.48 for calculation this is also written as 0.70 for calculation okay so you must know these values at least the first three values is must you have to memorize on this first three value 2 3 and 5 okay now you see this ph is given ph is equals to 2.1 which we can easily write 3 minus 0.9 why not why not this 2 plus 0.1 right that you will understand why i am writing down this you see here if i write 3. 3 minus 0.9 further we can write it as 3 minus 3 into 0.30 we know the log term of this right log expression of this 3 minus 3 into log 30.30 .30 is log 2 which further we can write 3 minus log 2 to the power 8 no sorry 2 to the power 3 okay so this further we can write log of 10 to the power minus 3 i'll take one more minus sign here this is nothing but 3 minus log 8 so further we can write log of 8 into minus if i take common 8 into 10 to the power minus 3 this is minus of log this this is ph on the left hand side so ph is minus log of h plus so if you compare the h plus concentration equals to 8 into 10 to the power minus 3 okay if i write 2 plus 0.1 then 0.1 we don't have the log expression for this hence i write here 3 minus 0.9, which we can further simplify, is this. Did you get this, all of you? And then you can use m1 v1 is equals to m2 v2 to solve that. Seven into point three, if you write, then it would be seven into log two. Yes, that way also you can do. That way also you can do. You can find it. Okay. So basically, you should know these three four values, and when you get this kind kind of question in the exam, you can easily do this, uh, this kind of calculation by these values. If it is not possible. then log anti log value will be given in the question correct 
ओके नो दिस टू थ्री लॉग वैल्यू यू शुड नो क्षितिश लॉग टू लॉग थ्री लॉग फाइव एटलीस्ट यू हैव टू मेमोराइज okay next so we'll calculate now ph in different different condition next write down ph of the mixture of the strong acid and a strong base strong acid and a strong base okay see when you have acid and base so obviously both will neutralize each other right we know the reaction of acid and base they'll give salt plus water okay so equal equivalence of acid and base reacts and it forms salt plus water so this kind of you know mixture that you get or solution that you get okay the property of that solution whether it is acidic or basic it depends upon it depends upon that what is the equivalent of acid or base you are taking suppose i am taking the acid of normality na and volume va for base it is nb and volume bb right so there are three cases possible here case 1 if the number of equivalents of acid nava is greater than the number of equivalents of base since acid is more over here so obviously the base is base will be the limiting reagent in this case and will get consumed completely and it gives acidic solution because we have some amount of acid left acidic solution okay if you have acidic solution then concentration of h plus would be what it depends upon the amount of acid left which is nava minus nbvb divided by divided by va plus vb this is the concentration of h plus and once you know the concentration of h plus you can find out ph as well any doubt in this done okay case 2 in this that the number of equivalent of acid is less than the number of equivalent of base exactly opposite here so this acid would be the limiting reagent and the solution is basic and when the solution is basic we'll get oh minus concentration 
it is NBVB minus NAVA divided by VA plus VB. Okay, so once you get OH concentration, you can find out P pH from this, sorry, POH from this, and then we know pH plus POH equals to 14. So we can find out pH further. Okay. Third and the last case we have in this. Number of equivalents of acid equals to the number of equivalents of base. So in this case, we have complete neutralization. Complete neutralization, okay? And the pH of the mixture would be seven. Obviously, we are assuming 25 degrees Celsius, pH is 7. Yeah, okay. You want me to go back? Which page, Oro? So, one second. Yeah. This one? Then? Okay, now look at this question. Calculate the pH of solution pH of solution obtained by mixing by mixing <coughs> excuse me 200 ml of 0, 0.0 molar 0 0.1 molar H2SO4 and 300 ml of 0 0.05 molar NaOH solution. Try this question.
What is the answer? See, we have acid and base. That is H2SO4 is mixing with NaOH. Anyone got the answer? No. Okay. Try. Is it pH? I'm getting two different answers. Okay, see what we'll do here. We have acid H2SO4. Correct. It's a, it's a molarity is given. Molarity is 0 0.01 and volume is 200 ml. So volume, you don't have to convert into liter. Okay, you'll get the same answer. For NaOH, the volume is given. Molarity is 0 0.05 molar and volume is 300 ml. Okay, so since we need to find out uh, number of equivalents, so we need to find out normality. Normality of acid is molarity into n factor so molarity is 0.01 n factor for h2so4 is 2 it is 0.02 normal solution <clears throat> similarly for base molarity into volume again n factor here n factor for the base is one only 0 0.05 into 1 to 0 0.05 normal Okay, then we calculate NAVA. NAVA is equals to 0 0.02 into 200. It is the number of milli equivalents. So we have four milli equivalent of acid. If we talk about base NBVB, we have 0 0.05 into 300. That is 15 milli equivalent of base. So obviously, which one is the limiting reagent here? Limiting reagent is the acid because it is lesser, right? So it is the limiting reagent LR. Hence, the solution is basic. OH minus concentration would be 15 minus 4, 11 divided by 200 plus 300, 500. So it is... 2.2 divided by this, so 0 0.022 OH minus concentration. <clears throat> what is POH for this? What is POH? You can take the help of calculator and tell me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Tell me. 1.657. Okay. Is it 1.657? Yeah. 1.657 you are getting. And then pH would be what?
this is the answer <clears throat> any doubt <clears throat> okay next you see acid base mixture uh, we had discussed we can also have we can also have the mixture of acid only write down ph of of mixture of strong acids so only acid we are mixing here okay i am taking the example of two acids here right ha1 ha2 two acids we are mixing ha1 ha2 this one will have some normality some volume right this one will also have some normality and some volume so the total because this two suppose we have separately now when you mix this two in a separate beaker right so here the total number of equivalents would be what n1 v1 plus n2 v2 so the normality would be or h plus concentration here is n1 v1 plus n2 v2 divided by v1 plus v2 if you have more than two acid present more than two acid present then we can have one more component of equivalents n3 v3 that is the only difference so once you get h plus concentration you will get ph again okay now do this question <clears throat> the question is to calculate ph and what happens here we are mixing h2so4 we are mixing h3po4 and we are mixing hcl the data are given over here h2so4 is 100 ml 10 to the power minus 2 molar h3o4 is 200 ml 1.5 into 10 to the power minus 2 molar hcl is 200 ml and 2 into 10 to the power minus 2 molar try this one <clears throat> if required you can take the help of calculator
Okay, I got one answer. It is less than two, I guess. Could you check your calculation once? <clears throat> Okay, yes. <clears throat> See here also what we do. <clears throat> I'll write down the number of milli equivalents directly here. Wait. Number of milli equivalent. If you talk about H2SO4, the number of milli equivalents would be its molarity into n factor this is normality into volume if you talk about h3po4 what is the n factor for h3po4 tell me the n factor for h3po4 Yes, n factor is three. Okay. If you talk about HCl, we know n factor is one. So it is 200 into two into 10 to the power minus two into one. This is what I got H plus concentration. Now pH would be what? <clears throat> pH is minus log of H plus. So that would be two minus log three. Okay. Log three value is 0 0.48. Two minus 0 0.48 is 1.52. I'm getting the answer. Tell me what mistake you made. What approximation, Anusha? We, it's that calculation, no? You see, we're getting simply nine, two, and four, and then we add it. Right, right one. Okay. Anyway, the so answer is one point five two in this. Similarly, if you mix strong base, then the solution will be basic. You'll get OH minus concentration. See next. 
pH of the mixture of strong base. Suppose we have two bases, I'm assuming exactly same. We have BOH one and BOH two. Right. If it's normality is again the same and one V one normality and volume here it is N two V two. When you mix the two, Right. So here the number of equivalents would be N one V one plus N two V two. Okay. N one V one plus N two V two total OH minus concentration equals to N one V one plus N two V two. By V one plus V two. This is the formula of OH minus concentration. Then we can find out pOH and next pH. Done. Yes, you can find out if they ask you molarity, you can find out from this. We know normality, we know volume, obviously you can find out molarity easily. Okay. Fine. Now next you see, these are the very direct questions we have. Okay. The next one is, is more important. And for here, here on words, you have to analyze a bit, like what is the condition we have that you need to understand. The condition is pH of the solution of B acid pH of the solution of weak acid okay Suppose we have a weak acid, say CH3COOH. When it dissociates, it forms CH3COO minus and H plus. So it is what it is the partial dissociation. It is a weak electrolyte, so it won't dissociate completely. Okay. So at time T is equals to zero. If we assume C zero and zero, so at time T is equals to T equilibrium. Suppose when it is maintained, it is C minus C alpha. This is C alpha. This is C alpha. Any doubt in this? Any doubt here? Tell me. Yes or no? Okay, so Ka would be what since it is an acid, so Ka, A stands for acid. It is a concentration of product that is CS3COO minus into H plus divided by the concentration of reactant CH3COOH.
करेक्ट सी एच थ्री सी ओ माइनस कॉन्सेंट्रेट सी अल्फा सी अल्फा फॉर एच प्लस सो इट इज सी स्क्वायर अल्फा स्क्वायर सी इंटू वन माइनस अल्फा एंड वी गेट के ए इज इक्वल्स टू सी अल्फा स्क्वायर अज्यूमिंग वॉट अज्यूमिंग वन माइनस अल्फा इज ऑलमोस्ट इक्वल्स टू वन द डिसोसिएशन ऑफ एसिड इज वेरी वीक okay this is what we are assuming so from here you see because you see uh, we need to find out as ph right so for ph we need we require h plus concentration h plus concentration is c into alpha this is what you need to find out c alpha so we have c alpha square is equals to k so what is c square alpha square it is c times k so c alpha is equals to the concentration of h plus equals to c times ka concentration of h plus is this what is ph minus log of h plus minus log of c into k a into log of a into b is log a plus log b so ph is equals to minus log c minus log ka right so further it becomes ph is equals to oh one second अच्छा सी एल फाइव इज इक्वल टू दिस सो इट शुड बी रूट अंडर ऑफ दिस आई मिस्ड अ रूट ओवर हियर राइट वी शुड बी वी शुड हैव अ रूट अंडर ऑफ इट ओके विल डू दिस अगेन सो दिस वुड बी इक्वल्स टू माइनस ऑफ हाफ log of c into k okay next is what if you solve this you will get ph is equals to half of this is the formula of ph of solution of weak acid we have yeah i'm going back one second
Okay. See the condition you must take care of. Condition is pH of the solution of weak acid. Okay. So weak acid K is the equilibrium constant for weak acid. So that K will be given. Okay. And C is the concentration of acid that you are taking. Okay. Sometimes they also ask you to find out the degree of dissociation that is alpha. So alpha is equals to the formula we have already seen. Alpha is equals to Ka by C root under of it. Right? So sometimes they'll ask you to calculate alpha as well. Okay, look at this question now. Calculate the pH of pH of 10 to the power minus one molar CH3COOH, weak acid, whose K value is given 2 into 10 to the power minus 5. Also calculate Also calculate the pH of 10 to the power minus 5 molar CH3COH solution. Done. Okay, see one thing here. When you have this expression, correct? We have done one assumption over here we have taken. All of, all of you must take care of it. This is the assumption we have here. This assumption we can take under only one condition. When alpha is very small in comparison to one, 
very small, but what, like what should be the minimum value of alpha? Right. What should be the minimum value of alpha beyond which we can consider this particular assumption? Right. So you need to, first of all, understand this. If we can have this assumption, if we can take this assumption, then only H plus concentration is this, and this formula is correct, right? Which means this formula, this two formula is correct only when, only when we have this assumption, which is one minus alpha is almost equals to one. If this assumption is not true, then this formula and this formula also not valid. Okay. So in that case, what we need to do, if that assumption is not true, then what we need to do, if assumption is not true, then also we have this expression, correct? No, like we can write always K a is equals to C alpha square divided by one minus alpha. So this relation is the true always whether the assumption is there like after this only we'll take the assumption after this only we assume one minus alpha equals to one so k is equals to c alpha square and we get this an entire thing is that so till here it is correct without any assumption so if we are not able to take this assumption then we need to solve this quadratic to find out alpha so we solve this quadratic we'll get alpha and H plus concentration is C alpha always that you see here, H plus concentration, it's C alpha. This gives you exact calculation actually. In order to calculate alpha, we take this approx uh, assumption. If you can't take this, solve this quadratic, get the value of alpha, substitute it here, find H plus and then pH. This is what we need to do. Did you understand what I said just now? Yes, we are assuming that we are assuming that because if you do the exact calculation, it won't affect the difference, affect the answer much. Difference is not that great. No, alpha is already small. So to get the approximate answer, we can do that kind of assumption. But if you want to calculate the exact value, you can, you have to solve the quadratic. There's no other way. We are doing this assumption because when you solve quadratic, and when you do this assumption, the difference we are not getting that much. It's a very small difference we have there. Hence, we can do this assumption. But, but like I said, assumption we can also do under a given condition. Otherwise, we cannot take this assumption. In that case, we cannot use the formula of pH that, that we derived just now. Then we have to go with this formula directly. C alpha, you find out H plus and then pH. So what is that condition you see? How to how do how do we get to know this fact that we need to take that assumption or not? What you do here, it's a method that we use to solve this. First of all, you calculate alpha, which is k by c root under of it. And we get this value by assuming one minus alpha equals to one only. But in this fact expression, if you substitute the value of K and C, if alpha you are getting less than 0 0.1, if alpha is less than 0 0.1, then we can write one minus alpha is almost equals to one. We can say alpha is very small. In some book, they have written here 0 0.05 as well. Right. That also you can keep in mind. If it is less than 0 0.1, 1 minus alpha equals to 1 means we can take the approximation then. If alpha is greater than 0 0.01, sorry, 0 0.1, in this case, we can't take the assumption
we can't take the assumption and we need to do the exact calculation yes understood this is very important okay when to take alpha and when when to take that uh, assumption and when not to take that assumption now coming back to the question the question is we have cs3 coh and its k value is given 2 into 10 to the power minus 5 k value of cs3 coh and first case the concentration is given 10 to the power minus 1 molar so what we'll do we'll find out alpha first alpha is equals to k by c root under so k is 2 into 10 to the power minus 5 what we get here 1.414 into 10 to the power minus 2 which is 0.01 we are getting this is less than 0.1 hence we can assume 1 minus alpha almost equals to 1 so under this case all the conditions are valid we can directly use ph formula ph is equals to half of pka minus log c okay pka value is 4.7 minus log c is log of 10 to the power minus 1 that is 1 1 plus 4.7 is 5.7 5.7 is 2.85 by 2 okay so ph for this one would be 2.85 this is the answer of the first part of this question tell me any doubt in this pk we haven't discussed i told you know like ph is minus log of h plus so pk is minus log of k this is the formula we have any doubt in this no okay now the second set of data we have k is same only k a is 2 into 10 to the power minus 5 but concentration is 10 to the power minus 5 which is given okay so k uh, alpha is equals to root under k a by c once again root under k by c which we can easily find out 2 into 10 to the power minus 5 so obviously when you solve this you will see that the value of alpha is greater than point uh, 1 and hence we cannot neglect alpha here so we cannot write 1 minus alpha equals to 1 this we cannot write then what to do in this process in this case we need to write down the expression of ka which is c alpha square by 1 minus alpha 
okay then we'll substitute the value of kac and we'll find out alpha here 2 into 10 to the power minus 5 c is 10 to the power minus 5 alpha square by 1 minus alpha 10 to the power minus 5 and minus 5 will get cancelled so alpha square plus 2 alpha minus 2 equals to 0 Okay. Solve this value and solve this quadratic and tell me the value of alpha here. Yes, what is the value of alpha you got? Point four one four. So two will get cancelled and alpha is equals to 1.732 minus 1, 0.732 I am getting. Isn't it? Point seven three two I am getting. Okay. Point seven three two we have. Then H plus concentration because for pH we require H plus concentration. It is C into alpha. C value is 10 to the power minus 5 into 0 0.732. So pH is equals to minus log of H plus. So this would be minus 5 minus log of 0 0.732. Tell me the value of, of pH in this. Yes. 
What is the answer? Yes, tell me what is the value of log of 0.732? Log of 0.732 is less than 1. It is negative of 0 0.135. And hence the pH value is 5.5. This is the answer we have for this. Correct. So you understood what we need to do. First of all, you calculate alpha by K by C root under. If the alpha value is coming out to be lesser than 0.1, then we can assume that one minus alpha equals to one. And the formula of pH is correct in that case. Alpha is degree of dissociation, Sitesh. Like chemical equilibrium we discussed, no. Alpha is the degree of dissociation. Out of one mole, how many moles reacts? Okay. pH cannot be negative, Anusha. Negative pH, if you take the log of H plus is positive. Negative concentration does not mean anything. That's why you see when we solve this quadratic, we are taking this positive value. Negative, we are not taking. We are, we are ignoring this because negative concentration does not mean anything. There is no any significance for that. Okay. So you won't get any negative concentration. Okay. So condition you must take care of. This is what we discussed about weak acid solution. Okay. Weak acid solution. Okay. Next. Sorry. Okay, next condition you see, we are considering dissociation of water we are considering. 